What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about huh, the video that's been um, talked about the most here on YouTube for the month of January, which is Best in Beauty 2015. Huh, my awards are going to consist of pretty much just makeup on this video because if I do skincare, we are hair care, or anything else related to beauty, we will definitely be here until 2017. Honestly speaking. So I'm excited for 2016, I have a lot of great opportunities and a lot of great projects I'm working on. So I'm happy for 2016. I gotta say in 2015 it was a very um, rough year, talking in about everything, but we're not gonna talk about that, we're gonna talk about beauty. What were my top picks for the um, whole year of 2015, what were my holy girls, what were always on my top uh, monthly favorites, and that's what we're gonna talk about. And I don't know if you guys can see, but my whole vanity right here is full of this makeup products that we're gonna share with you. So let's get started and I'm going to try to um, talk through them. I'm not going to give you a small demo or review on the products because you already know what they are, what you use them for. So um, you want to go ahead and grab a snack and um, you know get comfortable because it's going to be a quite long video. So let's go ahead and get started. coming your way pretty soon and I just thought they were so cute I wanted to wear them yes I did ah, I it. <laughs> um and besides I live in Florida so I can get away with it you know let's start off with face I should have put everything here I'm never prepared when it comes to videos okay so let's start with face I'm gonna start off with um, primers these two primers I love for the whole, I'm not a king, you know, oh, I love these primers, I love the foundation for the year, I love the da, 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 because we already know I love the whole entire, for the whole entire 2015. So primers wise, um, my drugstore would have to be, I would have to give it to the Youth Code Poor Banisher by L'Oreal. Yay, you did an amazing job on a budget, I love it. And the other one is my high end, which is the Tarte um, Clean Slate Poreless uh, Primer. This was a baby, which I absolutely loved. And then talking about foundations, I have quite few foundations, but I don't have them anymore because I use them. And I throw them out when I use them. I don't keep them. But I have two. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Yes, baby, give it to me. The other one was the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. The other one was the Maybelline, uh, it did Better Skin. Yeah, it was the, it was the Better Skin uh, Foundation. I think those are the ones from the drugstore which I loved. And then high end, I have to give it to my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Love this baby right here. For uh, CC creams, BB creams, I only used one CC cream and it was the It Cosmetics CC cream. I don't have the CC cream, I used it. I don't know why the hell I. I still have the box, but I do. And it's the It Cosmetics CC cream. I just love the fact that it was a full coverage CC cream. Like, whoa, really? For concealer, let's start with corrector. I was enjoying uh, using a lot the NYX, the NYX Color Corrector Concealer. I still do. It's under my eyes right now, under my makeup right now, baby, because I look like I got punched in both of my eyes. For concealers, I think I have three. I don't remember if I had any other this year, but I think I'm pretty sure these are like my three top ones. Um, of course, my holy girl, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealers. I swear about this baby, like, seriously. The other one is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. Yes. Oh, and the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer. Yes. Those were my top concealers. And then the other one is the Tarte Maracuja Chrysalis Concealer. I love the formula and I love the coverage on these. But on it, I can't really use them a lot because it, break, it broke me out. Like, I was like, oh, what is this? This is the people. Exactly in that accent. <laughs> Eyebrows in 2015 was my year of trying to become one with both of my eyebrows and um, one wanted to be Walmart and the other one wanted to be Neiman Marcus. So um, I finally came across these babies right here which I absolutely love. Don't get me wrong, Anastasia Beverly Hills, hands down, bam. But quite prosy and when you have kids you need to look for things that are on a budget so these things were given to me by um, Sal Hall and Maybelline to try out and I gotta say obsessed and love and these are the um, Maybelline Define and Fill Duo by iStudio 
So one side it was the fill pencil, I'm sorry, one eye was the draw pencil, and then the other one was the little spongy so you can fill them in. And I used two. I used the darker one to outline my uh, my eyebrows and the lighter one on the, on the little spongy to actually fill them in. And I gotta say, it made my life a lot more easier when it came to filling my eyebrows. Again, Walmart, Neiman Marcus. The struggle is real. So moving on to um, eyes. We're talking about eyes. I don't know why I was supposed to talk about face, like powders and concealers. I'm sorry, powders and whatever, but this is it. Um, mascaras. I'm a mascara junkie. When it comes to mascaras, I cannot have enough mascaras. I tried out a lot during 2015, but I can only remember using these four that were like, whoa, buddy. The first one is the, what is wrong with me? Like, like some, some other culture is coming out of me or something. Like I'm having different accents. <sighs> Am I growing up? <laughs> um, it's the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer. The reason why I love this one was because the bristle were so tiny, it actually grabbed all my lashes and made them like halo and definitely made it easier to apply it on my bottom lashes. The other one is the, of course, They Are Real Mascara by Benefit Cosmetics. Everybody knows. The other one was the Max Volume A Plus Mascara. This one is from Wet n Wild. I still use it, I still love it, and I have to say, whoa, makes my lashes very long and it doesn't clump them and of course it cosmetics this one is the hello lashes and definitely that's what happens to your lashes you apply mascara on and your lashes are just like hello I'm right here who needs who needs falsies <laughs> when you can pack on like five different mascaras so the other thing is um blah, 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 highlights and bronzers and blushes uh, um all the products will be listed down below, so if I'm going too fast for you guys, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make this video longer than 10 minutes, you know? For bronzer, as far as I can remember, the only bronzer I've managed to love and keep and use is the Milani XL Bronzer, and you can see I hit pan, I just use the bronzer side. I think it's the perfect bronzer color for my skin tone, it's dope, my skin tone. Um, I am light at the moment. I haven't tanned in like forever. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to be myself this year, you know? Nah, I'll be tanning soon. So the other are the blushes and the ones that I've got to say made my cut to be like the best blushes of 2015. Um, it's definitely MAC Desert Rose Plummy Matte Color, which I was like, yes baby, where you been all my life? And then I'm not sure, I think this one did not come out in 2015, but I did enjoy using it. And it's the blue, gorgeous. It's the Hourglass Ambient Blush. And this is the color Radiant Magenta. I enjoy using this one as well. So when it comes to highlights, yeah, I think it's about ears. I think the ears are making me lose it. <laughs> and then when it comes to highlight, we are going to, of course, have to mention a duh. Gerard Cosmetics Highlights. These two babies have come to my life to make my highlight game a lot stronger. <laughs> I was wanting to say that. Uh, because my, my highlight game ain't strong at all. Right now I'm wearing highlight and I bet you can't see. <laughs> I'm just afraid to pack on highlight. Well, the two colors that I enjoy using is the Lucy, which is like a darker copper color, and then the Audrey, which is that light champagne -y color, which is amazing. I never got to try the Becca, Oba, or the Jaclyn Hill. Hopefully in 2016 I can get my hands on those. So excuse me if I didn't mention them in this video. It's because I didn't get it. I couldn't get my hands on them because I got bills to pay and kids to feed and diapers to buy. <laughs> okay. So the other one, of course, is the balm. And my Mary Luminizer is still alive. It's broken into pieces, but it's still alive. And I can't touch it because I don't want to make a mess. But I still use it. And of course, Mary Luminizer. Hello, goddess, when it comes to highlights. All right, moving on to contour palettes. Come on, you guys know me. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know that my Holy Girl Contour Palette is, bam, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, like OMG, as you guys can see. I never used it. I didn't use one bit of this freaking palette. Like, seriously, friends, did you didn't even touch it? <laughs> Love it. I still use it, and I'm gonna continue to use it until I literally don't have anything on the freaking palette because it was freaking expensive. So the next one will be, of course, the Anastasia Contour Kit. Um, 
And I I didn't try any cream contours 2015. Maybe I can branch out my options and explore cream contour for 2016. I'm gonna take my makeup game to a whole new level in 2016. Yes, y'all see, y'all coming with me, y'all joining me. So the contour kit from Anastasia, and then the other one was the highlight and contour pro palette by NYX. And right now I'm just going to town on this baby. You guys can see, just on that, actually just just on that powder, not on anything else. Excuse me. So that's contour. When it comes to eyeshadow palettes, you guys will see why I'm telling you that on 2016 I'm gonna take my makeup game to a whole new level because I'm definitely gonna step out of my comfort zone and stop trying out nudes. All my palettes here are nudes. <laughs> Sad. Let's take a moment because I have no color in my makeup life. Okay. The first one is the Pacifica um, Power of Love. I think it was called this. Yeah. It was called the Power of Love collection. This paper is printed with soy ink. Mm, if I could eat it. This is the Power of Love um, palette, which I enjoy using a lot. Then the other one was is the Sigma Warm Neutrals. You know? What do you got there? Neutrals. Yes. Go figure. The other one is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. Again, nude. Oh, wait a minute. There's purple. <laughs> yeah, I didn't use much of that one. So the other one is the Chocolate Bar Too Faced. And let's see if I used it. No, I didn't use it. Again, you see, I only managed to stay on the nude neutral sides and then like all the other ones I didn't touch. But again, I give you my word that this year I'm going to branch out and try different looks with different colors. And then, of course, the other ones are the Balm New Tude and New Dude palettes. These are like Balm.com nude palettes. Nude palettes. No color in my life whatsoever. Give me a break. 2016 is started. I'm going to bring some color into our lives. Like giving you makeup tutorials. For eyes, I got to give my lashes to my baby boo-boo, Ardell. Ardell Wispies were like my best friends, and cocoa lashes, yes, but they were a little expensive, and you had to wait a lot to get them. For eyeliner, we have the NYC Very Dark Liquid Liner, and the Master Maybelline Master Precise by Eye Studio Black Eyeliner were like my savers when it came to trying to get an even cat eye, hence the word, tried. For, um... For me to look cool in this video, <laughs> because I think I'm the only person who literally did not get or tried any ColourPop cosmetics in the year 2015. Like, oh my god, don't hate me. So I just threw this one in there because I wanted to fit in and look cool and be popular. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I used this one I did enjoy. ColourPop, people, ColourPop. <laughs> this is all I have. Now I have another one and a couple of lip lipstick, but I never used them because, again, I don't have color in my beauty life. And they were not nude. They were like bright colors. And I was like, whoa, but where's that? Colourpop people, Colourpop, yes. Okay, so when it comes to lip stains, I really feel bad making this video because I really don't have any colors. Look, they're all nudes. Literally nude. Oh my god. Okay, I shouldn't be ashamed. Because I love me some nude. Okay, so the first one, of course, hello, people. The goddess herself when it comes to freaking li liquid lipsticks right now. Anastasia. And the only two that I picked up were um, Lovely, which I had never touched Lovely. But I just went to town on Pure Hollywood. Like, Pure Hollywood, I would sleep with it like this. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so Pure Hollywood and Lovely were at my top pick for... Top pick? Girl, what you talking about? Those are the only two you own. And NYX, I got the um, NYX Liquid Suede NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks and the color uh, Sandstorm, which is like a brown color, and then that burgundy. So I have a burgundy color. Ah, I see, see. It's the Showstopper. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, <laughs> stop spoken. Those are the only two I got from NYX. The other ones are. Of course, hello, Gerard Cosmetics. Ah, oh, look, I do have color. <laughs> and these were, these are really, really good, honestly. Like, I, the formula was really, really good on these. 
And the colors are. Jesus. Mercury? It's like an orangey color. Then we have uh, Aphrodite. Aphrodite, which is like a lighter color. And then we have the one that Manny MUA did, which is um, Serenity. Love these um, liquid lipsticks. They were really, really good. The other one is the Sephora uh, Marvelous Moth color, which you all know I raved about all through fall. Then this is like a lip, like a lip pencil, and this is from Bite, and the color is Amaretto. I love that color. And then the other one is the Rimmel Provoca Lip 16 Hour Wear, and it you can wear without the gloss, but you can wear with the gloss, and it just kind of like seals in your makeup, your lipsticks. Dura Cosmetics, seriously, like. I don't know what what they do, what they did, how they do it. They did it, but they accomplished it. Jared Cosmetics lipsticks, 2015, were bomb. Every single color, bomb. Seriously. So all the colors from Jared Cosmetics. I just have more. I just have them thrown in all my other purses. Um, the other ones were the matte collection from uh, Milani, and I got color. Look, I got color. Um, I got two nude and then I got like a burgundy, like a purpley plummy color, a hot pink and a red. These were bomb. I still use them and I love them. So Milani ones. Well, join me in congratulating all these beauty uh, products that made it on my top for my, for my, that made it on the top for top beauty products of 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what foundations, concealers, primers, um, highlights. Liquid lip stains and um, mascaras were on your top list for 2015 on the description box below. Again, thank you so much for your continued support and your love. Go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed the products that I enjoyed. And for 2015, if you have some of them in here as well, give that video a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for sticking until the end. Besotes. Be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you girls on my next video. Bye.